Hello everyone, Jeff Garcia from Dreaming of Your Next Hook Set with an exciting video guys. Um, this video is dedicated to all the bank fishermen and I had been asked to make this video. Um, bank fishing doesn't have to be expensive. When you're talking bank fishing, smart shopping is always the best way. You don't have to have an expensive rod an expensive reel, expensive line, and you don't have to have the most expensive equipment, basically. Um, a sale is not better than clearance. Let me clarify that. Clearance is always awesome. Uh, of course, a sale, you take advantage of your sales as well. And clearance is something that a lot of people will say, okay, when the clearance comes around, they just grab a few baits and that's it. But to be honest, that's when I take full advantage. Clearances are always the best because it's, it's always 40% to 50% off and you can't beat that. If you go to my uh, YouTube video, my Walmart video, you'll see where I've taken full advantage. I mean, down to where I, if I only had the last dollar left, that's, I took advantage of it, I spent it. So let's get on with this. We're gonna talk rods reels rods reels and line today guys how it doesn't have to be very expensive and you can get uh quality rods as some people would say name brand rods well first runner up that i've been fishing for a long time and i've been very successful with this rod i put them aside this year because i ventured off into the halo rods as well that those are now added to my rod uh arsenal basically and they're awesome they turned out really awesome i'll have a video coming out with those with those rods being uh showcased basically but honestly the halo rods are awesome rods as well and they don't cost a whole bunch of money and if you're a bank fisherman like me you have to take advantage of those situations but i was recently asked hey jeff would you rather have an expensive reel or an expensive rod my answer to that would be i would rather have a pricey reel the reason being the way the reason i look at it this way is because of this guys and because of experience i've fished a reel and tried it out you know um, definitely bought it in a place where i could return the reel if i didn't like it so a lot of stores are like that but some stores are very picky so you got to be careful you have to ask that question that is a good question to ask before you purchase any reel rod not so much line but rods reels you can ask um and the one thing that i found to be a pain and very discouraging and very time consuming when it comes to reels is bird nesting by bird nesting it creates that 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 void where you could be fishing, but now you're dealing with a bird nest. I've experienced several times where I've bird nest, and it's took me 30 to 40 minutes. And in some cases I was successful in getting the bird nest out, and in some cases I wasn't. So my advice is look for clearances, look for sales, and start doing some research on some reels that people are leaving good feedback and they're not going just by the name. I fish a lot of Shimano reels now. Um, I have faith in them. I, I love the reels. There, there's one in particular that I think it, they don't even uh, make it anymore. It's the Cronarch, the old one with the red spool. That reel is amazing. I, my advice to anybody that's bank fishing, which is a challenge to begin with, and we don't need to have issues with bird nesting and stuff like that, spend the money on the reel and buy a lesser price rod. My thing is this, I always keep my eye out on a rod that I like, that I've done research on. And if Walmart has it, uh, it doesn't only have to be Walmart, but in my case, Walmart. I shop at Walmart a lot when it comes to clearance deals. And I've caught the Skeet Reese rods, the Wright and Miguel company, Skeet Reese rods, I've caught them up to 40% off. 
in some cases I have two rods that I bought it was almost 60% off and I have been looking at those rods for a while I'm talking about the drop shot rod and I'm talking about um, crankbait rods um, I took full advantage I think one of them I paid like 38 bucks the other one was like 45 bucks or something like that from 120 to that that's taking full advantage of a clearance but back to what I was saying make sure that you do your homework on reels because in my in my situation I bank fish a lot I'll say it again and if you love to bank fish if you don't have a boat um, this is your video for you bank fishing on a budget and it, it, it's it's just it will help you a lot if you take this in consideration in this video here it's going to be a small video short video we're just going to get right to the rods the reels what i fish and what i've been successful with now where i live in rockford illinois we don't have a lot of lakes we have olsen lake that's the lake that i'm at right now it's pressured a lot if you can see um i'll actually videotape on my way out so you can see how many people are already here and today's tuesday right after memorial day oh and i hope you guys had a great memorial day not to change the subject i hope you guys had a great memorial day and i hope you guys had a lot of fun you ate good you had a good barbecue because a lot of people barbecue on memorial day to celebrate and i thank all our fallen soldiers and fallen law enforcement for firemen, everybody that's risked their life to, to, to help someone, to better our country, I thank all of them. Fishing, bank fishing is a very challenging thing, especially when you don't have very many places to fish. That's why this video is for you. It's for you to learn that, hey, take advantage of sales, take advantage especially of clearance, but do your research before on a rod that you have your mindset on, a reel that you have your mindset on and keep watching, keep going to these stores, ask them, when do you guys have your clearances? When do you have your sales? But anyways, let's get back to fishing on a budget and the rods that I use, the reels and the line that I, that I use. First rod that I have here is the Skeet Reese. Skeet Reese, yeah, I got two cameras going. So it's, it's the Skeet Reese, uh, the rod is made by Wright and Miguel, Skeet Reese uh, football jig and big worm rod. There it is. It's an awesome rod. What do I use this? I use it, what it specifies. I use it for that, but mainly I use it for big worms. Big worms. Um, the rod is a uh, seven foot two and the action is fast. So it's a medium power, fast action rod. It's a nice rod, stout rod, and that's what I use it for. I use it for Texas rigging, big worms like that. That's a, I believe that's a 10 inch worm. And sometimes I use the bobber stoppers and sometimes I don't. I just pull the bobber stopper up, as you guys can see here. But it's a 10 inch worm. And that's what I fish with this. I also fish buzz baits with it, spinner baits. Um, Buzz bait, spinner baits. What else do I fish with this? Um, the Z-Man chatter baits. I fish those as well. But this rod, like I said, it's a Skeet Reese, seven foot two, and I don't think I paid for this rod. I don't think I paid more than forty dollars. I had the tag here, but a couple weeks ago it kind of fell off. Um, for it, I actually have two of them. I took advantage and I bought two of them. You know, I took advantage of it because I figured, hey, I'm gonna be Texas rigging, throwing my chatter baits, buzz baits, and this this will this will do the job. So this rod, very nice rod. I've had it for a while already. I know it looks brand new. I take care of my stuff, but I've had it for a while. I've used it, and it's a very nice rod. The line that I that I that I use on this rod is 17 pound test XL by Trilene. It's the red box. XL, real nice. Um, I also throw my top water lures with this, with this, uh, with this reel. Actually, not the rod, the reel. It, this reel is a Shimano Corrado. 
The gear ratio is a 7-2 to 1. Awesome. It's got some nice speed to bring those fish in, you know, a little bit faster. So, but I, for bank fishing, I, I use a lot of 17-pound line. The XL seems to cast awesome from trialing. It's not a fluorocarbon. It's a monofilament. I like it. I bank fish a lot, so, you know, I like to keep my baits and I like to, to have the edge on whatever fish I hook into. So that's this setup. But like I said, this reel is also used on another rod because I, I throw my top water lures with this, with this reel here. The Shimano Corrado 7 2 to 1 gear ratio 201 HG. I love it. Um, I suit it up sometimes on my football jig, big worm rod, as you guys can see here. But we'll move on to the next rod because we're talking rods right now. I shouldn't have even mentioned the reel, but I'll go ahead and mention it because I do use it on this rod as well. So, because you can interchange. If you have uh, certain reels, uh, certain baits, you want to use certain reels, and we'll get into that in a later video. But this rod is an awesome rod, guys. I really like it. The one I've been using for years that I bought at Farm and Fleet, which is an awesome rod. I put it down this, this, uh, for a couple weeks because I gave the the, the Halo rods a, a run, you know, to see if I really like them. Uh, a couple of my friends have the Halo rods and they said, hey Jeff, get the rod, it's worth it, 50 bucks. But let's talk about this rod real quick. This rod is the Shimano Surgeon rod. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a medium power rod, fast action, awesome, awesome rod. Um, I caught my personal best uh, bass on this rod. I throw a lot of top water with this rod. I throw a lot of uh, shallow running square bill crankbaits and shallow running crankbaits on this rod. I love it. Um, it's an awesome rod. It's a very strong rod. I mean, the backbone of it is very strong. It has that perfect bend for those crankbaits. And it's a real nice rod. Yeah, I'll try to show you the, the, the the specs on it there it is and that's what it looks like it's a shimano rod very nice and i'll tell you a thing guys about this rod you know for bank fishing and even even off a boat i mean i've used these with friends as well but for bank fishing you don't have to have expensive equipment guys you don't have to um you can if you want to it's, it's always great if you can buy expensive rods it's great it's i found that when you're bank fishing if you want to cut the cost and you want to fish smart and you want to you want to fish on a budget look at your 40 dollars rods look at your 30 dollars rods don't just shy away because it doesn't say shimano don't do that i love shimano i love the brand and, and i fish shimano i fish shimano reels but at the same time, I'm going to tell you, there's all kinds of brands out there, guys. There's, they lose, has a reel under $100. You can go to Bass Pros. They, they have reels under $100 that are great reels. They have rods, you know, they have their own rods that you can also buy that are great rods. But back to this rod, it's been 17 minutes already. I have used this rod for years. This rod has been with me to Brazil. It's been with me to Tennessee, to Texas. I've used this reel, I mean this rod, everywhere. And I have two of them. This rod here, I haven't been able to find it anymore. So if you find it and it's 40 bucks, get it, because it's worth it. It's, I would compare it to a $150 rod any day, this rod. Easy, easy, I would compare it. And for running crankbaits, it's strong enough to get your crankbaits. If you get hung up on the bank or, or whatever, you can get your crankbaits back with this rod. Of course, you don't horse it, you know, you kind of play the bait and get the bait, you know, play the bait, get the bait back out. But it's an awesome rod. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know, I don't know if I, know if I mentioned the, the length of it. It's a seven foot rod. So it's perfect for bank fishing. Seven, I would say that seven foot rods, seven two, is perfect for bank fishing so you can, cast that bait way out there and have more of a big range of fishing you know cover more water but it's an awesome rod i've used spinner baits on these but i try to use spinner baits 
that are less than half half ounce on these rods. Uh, very nice rod. I'll show it to you guys one more time. There it is. I own two of them, and as I said before, I believe I paid forty dollars for them. Forty dollars a piece at Farm and Fleet. So I, sh I shop around, guys, and that's if you're a bank fisherman, I advise anybody to do that. Shop around because. You just never know where you're going to find a deal. And if you've been doing research on a rod, let's say you see a rod at Farm and Fleet, Bass Pros, Cabela's, uh, Walmart, wherever you see it and you really like the rod, do some research on it and find out why you like it. Because sometimes just looking at a rod, you might like just the way it looks. But somebody out there has made a YouTube video on that rod or there's some information out there on those rods and it can save you money, it can save you time. And if, if, it's, if it's a rod that's not getting good feedback, then you look at, look at another rod that, you, that might have uh, got your attention at Walmart, wherever, whatever store. But this rod here, guys, I own two of them, I love them. You'll see me in my videos, my videos before these videos here, you'll see that I use this rod a lot. And like I said, crankbaits, uh, even the big crankbaits, big, big crankbaits, big ones. But anyways, that's that rod. Then, one that I really, really have really gotten attached to is this rod here, guys. The Starlight Halo Rods. Awesome rods, man. Awesome rods. I honestly, I don't know the rod that I just showed you or this rod, which is better. That's how good they are. And that's a Shimano and this is a Halo rod. So. This is very nice. I'm showing it to the other camera guys. Halo Rod. Starlight. There it is. And this is also a medium power and fast action rod. Halo Rod. Starlight. Here's the power of it. Right there. Awesome rod. You see I still have the paper on it. It's starting to come off but I still have the paper and I bought me two of these. You'll be out of 50 bucks a piece for these. Get them at your local Walmart. That's the place where I found them the cheapest. Uh, you can also go to their website and they even have a different uh, series of rods now. And they're they're awesome rods, guys. Um, I, got, uh, I got a video coming out where I fish crankbaits off of this rod and I fish top waters off of this rod. And I believe that day, nothing went over two and a half pounds, but I caught large mouths, small mouths, I caught a total of 16 to 18 bass in one day off of this rod and I loved it. It's, it's nice. Of course, I haven't put it through the test for a five pounder, but man, it feels just like my Shimano rods. They're strong rods. They're built strong and they handle those two pounders like nothing. So it's an awesome rod for crankbaits, even top water. Check them out at your local Walmart, guys. You will not, you will not regret it. It's an awesome rod, and I and I'm not, I don't want you guys to think, oh, I'm being paid by Halo or anything like that. No, I, I'm not going to bring information to YouTube that I haven't tried myself. So for all of y'all to know, if I tell you something about a bait or a rod or something in the future, it's it's all about I tried it, I know it, I've seen it in action. Uh, maybe a buddy of mine just is faithfully to it, and he gave me all the feedback on it. I'm telling you guys, these rods here are worth it. Man, I, I'm, I've considered, because I can't find my other Shimano's as well, I've considered it. If I find a Shimano, I'm gonna get a Shimano as well, but I'm considering buying another one like this, another rod like this, and another Shimano rod, if I can find that Shimano rod. Um, as far as the Skeet Reese rods, of course, I'll get them. If they're on clearance, I'll get them, because I like those rods as well. But this guy here, once again, I'll say it, I own two of them. They're medium power, fast action rods. They're the Starlight Halo rods, guys. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong on these rods. I run a Cronarch on it. A Cronarch with, as well, 17 pound XL Trilene, the red box. That's what I run off of it. Why? Because I bank fish. And I'll get into that in a little bit on my crankbait uh, video that I'm gonna make. This Cronark is a six two to one gear ratio to run. If I wanna run my top waters a little bit slower, if I wanna run my crankbait, my crankbaits a little bit slower, that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, it's an awesome rod. 
And like I said, I already said it, 6-2 to 1. This is the 151 Cronart Reel, 6-2 to 1. Awesome reel. This is, this is probably the cream of the crop that I have. These, these reels here, I love the castability on them. Uh, they don't weigh anything. And with this rod, you will not believe it. Um, also, I, I will mention this. You can take my word for it. You can go buy one of these rods. Try it out. Walmart has that return policy that's pretty cool. If you don't like it, return it, guys, because not everybody, you know, I understand that not everybody's going to uh, like a rod that, that I like, you know what I'm saying? Or not everybody's going to want to trust a $50 rod. But I'm telling you, for $50, fishing off the bank, fishing off the boat, a kayak, it's perfect. Halo rods. Awesome rod, guys. Um, that's, that's it for the rods as far as the rods and like I said medium power and medium power fast action rods this rod here the skeet reef rod I have to say that it says it's a fast action rod but on the power I'd have to say because I compared it to another rod that I have I'd have to say that this is almost getting into the medium heavy medium heavy rod because it's a stout rod it has a lot of backbone and it's a very nice, I mean, you throw football jigs with it, guys. Throw football jigs with it. Um, I know football jigs are mainly thrown in open water. You know, I understand that, but I mean, you can Texas rig, you can Carolina rig with this rod. It's an awesome rod as well. Um, what else can I say? Uh, in my next video, I'll get into my jig rods. Those are, uh, my heavy duty jig rods but i'll get into that in my next video but right now these are the rods that i that i use for bank fishing and i'm very happy with them and i wanted to share that with you guys what i do want to say just before i i, I end this this video the reels are awesome reels as well guys i mentioned in the video in the beginning get you a nice reel and the reason I say that is because when you're bank fishing, limited time, limited area to fish, you don't want to be messing around with bird nests. Wait till there's a clearance on it. Wait till they have a sale on them. Keep them in your mind. Do a bunch of research on it and go get a nice reel. Because I've seen it time and time, a person will go buy a $60, $70 reel and they end up not liking the reel. Well, you're out of the 60, 70 dollars. You could have put a hundred to that and got you a nice reel that you know, you've done the research, you know it's a good reel, you know you're not gonna bird nest a lot, it has good bearings, all those things, guys. So please do that for yourself. Think about my point that I made. I'd rather have a good reel and an okay rod in this case this combo right here to me it's prime prime combo skeet reese man i don't take anything from these rods these rods are nice rods the wright and mcgill rods are nice rods the halo rods awesome rods don't mistake that i'm only paying you know this was a clearance deal but these rods were going for 130 120 to 130 dollars this was a clearance deal Remember, I did my research on these rods. The Halo rods, I did my research on them. And I'll tell you right now, don't mistake because it's only $50 that this rod is not a good rod. I'm telling you, put it on your boat, fish with it on, on the bank, and you'll see what I mean. You'll really like it. You see what I did? Good reel. I went right to a good reel. Don't mess around, good reel. Concentrate on your reels. I see it time and time on YouTube. You don't have to have an expensive reel. You don't have to have a real good reel. You, you're, the, the most important thing is a rod. I'll tell you, I catfish a lot. Not to throw this video off to, to, from bass fishing. I catfish a lot. My thing with catfish, it's a different approach. The different approach is this. When I catfish, my important is my rod, my line, Number one, I'll say it, my line. Second, my rod. Number three would be my reel. That's how I look at catfishing. With bass fishing, I look at it different. 
it's my reel, it's my line, a good steady line, a good hard line, a good good line that's smooth casting, trialing, XL, red box, a good reel, good reel to avoid a lot of bird nesting, avoid a lot of time, wasting time on the bank, and then my, and then my rod. But I don't take nothing from these rods. Awesome rods, Halo, the Starlight rods. My last one, but goody. You'll see a lot of videos that I've made with this one. My Shimano Surgeon rod, awesome rod. Not because it was $40, I shied away from it. No, I did my research. I found that people were using them and not talking about it. I don't know if it was that they were embarrassed that they only paid $40 or $50 at Farm and Fleet for it. I don't know. To me, I don't care. I'm trying to bring you a budget video of something that's worked for me. It's been awesome. I caught a, the biggest uh, bass I've caught here was five, five pounds. I want to say about five and a half pounds on the topwater lure. Awesome rods, guys. Check them out. You can do research. Maybe you'll find this rod. If you find this rod, get it because I'm still looking for it. I want to get me another one and I'm definitely going to get me another halo rod. Skeet Reese rods, I got a bunch of them. I already got two of these guys. I got the, the, the drop shot rods. I got the crankbait rods. My crankbait rods, I particularly save them for fishing off of a boat. Um, and the reason being is because not all crankbait rods are designed the same, made the same. It has a lot more flex to it. And when I get hung up, that rod doesn't really help me a lot in retrieving my baits and getting my baits back. But on a boat, that rod is deadly. You feel everything. It's like another rod that I like, the St. Croix brand. St. Croix, it's like fishing a St. Croix. How can I tell you that? Because I have St. Croix jig rods and I, I bought a St. Croix rod, what was it, like three years ago? Uh, awesome rod as well. I didn't bring that rod here because this video is a budget video. This video is what's going to get the job done at a good price. Good quality equipment. This is Jeff Garcia from Dreaming of Your Next Hook Set. Until next time, guys, I hope you guys learned something. Don't shy away from those $40, $50 rods. But definitely get you a good reel, get you some good line. And if you're bank fishing and you're fishing, you know, dirty waters and stuff, don't be afraid to just use straight mono on your top waters, on your crankbaits. I have video after video catching bass, smallmouth and largemouth. Don't be afraid to use that. Now, if you want to tip your line with a fluorocarbon, fine, do it, perfect. But there's times where the summer gets so hot and the water gets clear, the visibility is two to three feet. You want to go to a fluorocarbon. You'll get more bites that way. But me, I like to keep my bait, so I do it that way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'll say goodbye to you guys. This is Jeff Garcia from Dreaming of Your Next Hook Tip. Until next time, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Stay fishing. Be safe. And most of all, be responsible. Uh, keep the lakes clean. Keep, keep the ponds clean. Respect people if you want to be respected. All those things, guys. I love you guys. You guys have a good, a good, good fishing outings. If you bank fish, good luck to you. Us bank fishermen, it's tough for us, but we get it done. We get it done, and we're getting videos every day. There's a lot of bank fishermen doing a lot of bank fishing, um, and there's videos like this. Like this are needed. You know, uh, these are things to be talked about. Stay tuned for my crankbait budget video. That's coming up next. And I also have my wacky rig and drop shot video coming up next. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Woo! Woo, beautiful fish. Oh man, dreaming of your next hook set once again. Grandote, big one. Please don't get off. Please don't get off. Beautiful. Please don't get off. In the draft.
back a little bit. Hold up, it's a Oh my goodness, I did it again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Despacito, porque es un crankbait chico, eh? Es un crankbait chiquito. Ay, 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 ¿cómo lo voy a hacer aquí? Get him out of the water. I'm gonna have to go down here and get him, guys. I don't want to do this, but I'm gonna have to. Ah, I need a mask. I need a mask. I need a mask. I need a mask, guys. Hey, this is the way you do it, baby. This is the way you do it. Oh, man, that's a beautiful bass. Look at that. Okay, they just stay crankbait, eh? You love the crankbait. Look at this. Got him. They don't hit top water, huh? He's a nice one too. On the point. I knew he would be there. I knew he would be right off yeah, that point. That. I knew he would be there. Oh yeah, he's trying to take off that way. Look at him right here. Oh, nice one. He's a nice one. Put the stuff down because can't get in the way of this big beast right here this is a big one look at him oh yeah ladies and gentlemen he is a nice one on the 90 on the 90 the 90 class whopper clopper I might have to get a little dirty for this one. Oh my god Oh my god, right off the point. Man, talk about big bass. 